Hey gang, Dave Seaman coming to you from the Hocassin Athletic Club in Hocassin, Delaware. Hope you're all doing well. Maybe for some of you going down to Florida or the warmer weathers, this is going to be the beginning of your season. For some, it's the end. I know up in the Northeast, we're, uh, we're looking for things to do now, but uh, the weather's getting cold, the leaves are off the trees, but uh, we're, we're having fun and I'm still bringing stuff to you. Now, one of the questions I always get is, Dave, what makes me slice the ball? I, I, I constantly slice the ball and I, I've never hit a hook in my life. Well, I can get you to hit a hook real quick. But you gotta understand the process and what has to transpire for you to hit a hook. Now, I'm gonna show you guys in slow motion what I see most of the time with with amateur, higher handicappers that slice the ball, okay? They get the golf club too far to the inside, they come up, and now, what do they do? They go over the top. That's the over the top move. And normally this happens because right-handers, we know, have a tendency to aim too far right. So if the target was over here, and I'm aimed too far right, and I do the over the top move, what do you notice the club? It's looping. Okay, now, why does this happen? Well, it is part, part because of alignment, part because of bad sequence or bad sequencing. Now, normally the over-the-top move happens because of too much motion and too much rotation in the backswing. This is where a stable body, if I just stand here and get my position one which is going to be slightly loaded right and I just let my arms swing now you'll notice here that my head is not moving my body's not moving forward and this is one of my drills I love teaching people is I, I have them stick the club or stick the ball on the tee and I'm going to do this and I'm going to try to do it slow motion so you can really see the path and I'll do it maybe with a, uh, some video tape that I have. And I'm going to show you the path of doing this swing. And what you're going to see is that it's going to be returned on the same path that I took it back. So I'm just going to use my arms here, let the arms go up and come down. Now, I didn't make a weight shift. I didn't move my body a whole lot. If you want to hit a draw, do what I just did because the path comes slightly from the inside and the club the club head becomes square why because my forearms I allowed them to rotate this is the key if I have good forearm rotation I can square the golf club every time if I don't have good well good forearm rotation is because I don't use my body too much if I use my body too much and this is where you guys miss the boat sometimes is your body's moving too much and your forearms can't get back to square. So my whole point of this is that the first place you got to look to cure the slice is too much body motion. If you let the arm swing, you'll cure the slice. Stay Seaman coming to you from Hocassin Athletic Club. Have a great holiday season.